Just a quick disclaimer before we start this video, please do not follow this recipe if you doubt that this recipe will even work. As this recipe isn't perfect, you may change a few aspects of this recipe to make it better. If you can improve this recipe, please show me because my version sucks. Enough of that, let's get on to the recipe video. What's up guys, it's me Rainy Gaming Productions and today I'm going to be teaching you a recipe on how to make strawberry chocolate with real strawberries. You can use this recipe for any type of special occasion such as birthdays, weddings, gatherings and even Valentine's Day. The ingredients we'll be needing for today's recipe will be... White chocolate Strawberries and... We'll be also needing a chocolate mold to mold the chocolate. Please remember that this recipe is not perfect, so the chocolate won't taste that good. But enough of that, let's get on to the actual recipe. First of all, you'll need to get a bowl to put the chocolate in, alright? Now let's get the white chocolate and drop it into the bowl. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any Hershey's white chocolate in the supermarket, so I had to buy cookies and cream instead. Then, put your chocolate into the microwave for 30 seconds on the low setting. Wow, look at that melted chocolate! After you've microwaved the chocolate, keep stirring the chocolate until it is a gooey goodness. After you're done, add your strawberries into the melted chocolate. Then, start mixing them together. You'll be needing to blend them together later, so mix them really well. To be honest, this might be a bit boring for you guys, so I'm just gonna speed it up, alright? I might speed it up. Now, put your mixture into the blender and remember to add a cup of milk as well. To be honest, it doesn't really look that appetizing anymore now that I think about it.
dough, start blending it until it looks smooth. To be honest with you, that actually looks disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. But don't worry, it still tasted good in the end. Wow, look at that! Start to get out your molds because you'll be needing to pour the liquid into them. You may also use the molds that you usually use to make your ice cubes to freeze your chocolate. Now, start pouring the mixture into your mold. Um, we had a little accident, but that's alright. It will still freeze. Okay, we are continuing to pour the mixture into rest into the rest of the mold, I guess. And after that, you will want to put the mixture into the freezer for 24 hours to let it really freeze over.
Okay, we are continuing to pour the rest of the mixture into the other mold. Though, there are still ice cubes stuck in the mold, so that's gonna be a problem. Okay, so I don't know how exactly the clips are arranged, so I'm just gonna put this clip here for you guys to watch, alright? Okay, so now it's the next day, so we're gonna see what happened to the chocolate. Okay, so the chocolate did freeze, but I'm not sure how it tastes yet. So, I'm just gonna see how it tastes first. Though, I will need help to get the chocolate out of the mold because it's sticking to the mold which is a problem congratulations you have made it to the end of the recipe video okay so i guess i'll see you in the next video guys bye oh and if you're wondering what the chocolate looked like when it was out of the mold it looks like this all right Although it looks disgusting, trust me, it tastes good. So my advice to you guys is to probably not add any milk into the recipe because that gives the chocolate more of an ice cream consistency and that's not really what I was going for. So I guess this is really the end of the video now. Bye guys!